Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. It is Thursday, June the 18th, 2020. Let's talk football, but first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, people keep telling me, whether it's the stock market or the NFL, that this time it's different. Right? That whatever data I had watching quarterbacks in their 40s, however steep the cliff was that uh, Peyton Manning fell off of in his 40s, however slower Drew Brees looked, right, in the last third of last season. I'm supposed to believe that Tom Brady, by changing his uniform at 43 with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, is supposed to get to 10 wins on an over-under, in some places nine and a half wins on an over-number win total. I'm not buying it. Folks, 43 is 43. There's a time in life when even guys who take care of themselves can no longer perform at an elite level for a 16-game NFL regular season, much less the postseason, right? I thought Tom Brady's play fell off the cliff the last month and a half of last year. I encourage you to look at his per-game stats. I believe... At 43, he'll have flashes of being 23. But as the season goes along, he's going to start to get tired. And in my opinion, too much can go wrong for me to believe that this team is going to win more than nine and a half games. Let me also say, too, that Tom Brady can no longer, in my opinion, stretch the field on a regular basis. In other words, a lot of the problem New England had wasn't bad wide receiving personnel. It was the fact that defensive coordinators knew Tom Brady couldn't throw it over the top late in the season. Right? Team faded. So I like the under 9.5 win total. If you can get the under 10, that would be even better. Right? Let me just point out, too, what else could go wrong with Tom Brady. It's not just the age. It's not just his performance the last month and a half of last year. He also has only played in New England. There isn't a lot of continuity here. He's in a different conference. He's now on a different team, playing for a different head coach. Too much can go wrong. Again, the line's north of nine wins. Understand, this team, the Bucks, doesn't have a winning tradition. We can debate whether the Bruce Arians culture is a positive culture or not. Let's just say that last year they were below 500. I know people are going to point out that, you know, Tom Brady doesn't have the turnovers Jameis Winston had. Okay, that's fine. That's Tom Brady in a New England Patriot Josh McDaniel system. That's not Tom Brady in a Bruce Arian system where Bruce wants the quarterback to be a risk taker and to throw the ball down the field. I think it's a leap to believe that a quarterback can spend decades of his career in one organization. Understand, you know, he was able to be there and see generations, football generations, of New England Patriots get drafted. He was able to know the personnel, watch them develop, from when they were first drafted to five, six, seven, eight years into their careers. 
Right now, he's with teammates he's never played with before. Most of them, anyway. I know they signed Gronk. I'll leave it up to you as to whether Gronk, with time off and weight loss, away from the sport, is going to be able to step right in and play at a Pro Bowl level. I have my doubts there. I think the career change for Tom Brady carries risk. Since the over-under win total on a team that was below 500 last year is nine and a half. Not even nine. It's nine and a half. Ten. I think you want to go under that win total. I think the win total is too ambitious. Let's also talk about the defense, and I'm aware that Tampa's defense is very highly rated on ProFootballOutsiders.com. What I want people to do is to look at Pro Football Focus. Instead, not Football Outsiders, but Pro Football Focus. Folks, last year they're not in the top ten defensively. This isn't an elite defense. They're not San Francisco. They're not Pittsburgh. They're not New England. They're not Minnesota. Right, so you have Tom Brady joining a team with a decent defense, not an elite defense. To me, the fact that it's not an elite defense is another reason to go under the 9.5 win total. Also, what I want you to do is to think about their schedule. Right? Tom's in a new neighborhood. He's in a new division. There's some rough teams in that division. The Saints, for example. They have to play the Saints twice. Right? The Falcons. I think the Falcons are dangerous. They have to play the Falcons twice. Understand, they have other games that are going to be challenging. The Rams. The Packers, who made the NFC Championship game last year. The Vikings, who beat the Saints in the playoffs last year. Now, in addition to a tough divisional schedule and some tough teams that aren't easy outs on their regular season schedule. Did you know that the Buccaneers actually have to play the AFC West? Folks, that's a game against Super Bowl champion KC. Say what you want about the Chargers, folks. On paper, they're loaded on offense. Then, of course, you have the Raiders. New stadium, new enthusiasm. Go back and look at what the Raiders did the first two months of last season. They're not an easy out. Add it all up. And I like the under. Nine and a half wins. If you can get it, under ten. If you're in one of those casinos where... You have to pay a little bit on the odds, but you can bump it from 9.5 to 10. Do that. That's even better. I expect Tom Brady to have more problems in his change to a new team at 43 than most expect. Tom's a great quarterback. The problem is he's only been great for one team. He's also... 10 years removed from being 33 years old. He's now 43 years old. Understand, this is a team that lost to the Titans last year in the playoffs. Right? People blame Tom's wide receivers. But if you look at it, Tom really wasn't throwing the ball down the field. Not only that, as Warren Moon said recently, the problem with getting older at quarterback is that your body starts to slow down later in the season. You're no longer yourself. I think we've already started to see signs of that with Tom Brady. I like the under 9.5 wins on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers if you feel 
that I have presented an inaccurate portrait here. If you disagree with my views, then I hope you leave that information in the comment section of this video. I'm taking the under on the win total for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I think Tom Brady gets treated badly by the NFC this year. I think the opposition is going to be pretty tough. I don't like Tampa's schedule. Right? Understand, too, however prickly Bill Belichick is, Tom Brady knew him. Right? There was a certain consistency there. You knew what to expect. Bruce Arians, another strong personality, is very different. Very different than Bill Belichick. Right? That uncertainty, that newness could blow up if the team underperforms. And with this schedule, AFC West, games against the Pack playoff team from last year, the Vikings playoff team from last year, the Saints playoff team from last year, with this schedule, that's a distinct possibility. That's how I see it. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this YouTube video. I like the under nine and a half wins for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Thanks for stopping by.